Using patch groups and patch assets is a really good way to speed up your workflow. Let's see how to build them. So if your patch editor isn't already shown, you can do that here. Now let's just put down a bunch of nodes or patches. Let's add a loop animation and change the duration to 0.1 so it's quick. And every time it loops, let's grab a random number. So if we click this, we can see this number is changing every 0.1 second, so very quickly. And now let's take that and pack it into here. And then if we change this to a vector four, we can put this into, let's just say a value patch and change this to color. Now nothing's happening because we have an alpha of zero still. So let's change that to one. And so now already you can see every 0.1 seconds, this randomizes spitting out a value between zero and one, which is converted into the red channel, which is then put into this color value so we can actually see what's going on. Now, if we put this in the red, green, and blue, it's only going to be grayscale because these three are the same. But if we make two more of these random patches and plug these in, we just made a random color generator. And that didn't take too long, but maybe you have a project where you want to do this a bunch. So if you select all of these, you can right click and group them. And we'll call this random colors. Now, this doesn't do anything. You can see there's no inputs, there's no outputs. But if we right click and go to group properties, we can add inputs and outputs. So for the output, let's add one and call it random color and change the type to color. So now if we pull this out and add a value just to see what's in there, color is blank. So let's jump inside of this and see what's going on. Clicking this arrow does so. So it's still running, but this output is not connected. This is the output we created when we were editing the properties. So we don't have to include this value. That's just for us to see what's going on. So if we take this and add it to here, that's working there. And then if we jump back out to the main patch editor area, you can see this group is now outputting a random color every 0.1 seconds. Now, if you want to use this in other projects or just use it a bunch, you can convert this to an asset. So right click on it and convert to patch asset. Now you can see it's linked and it's this orange color, which means it's a file and not just a group. So clicking it here, you can see it's in the patches folder, which we can see here. And it's an actual file. It's not inside of our project file anymore. It's an independent file. So we can share this with other people or we can use it in multiple projects. You can also pop inside of it to see what's happening just by clicking this and you can edit and preview the properties here. And one thing to keep in mind is you can see down here, it says changes you make will update this patch asset everywhere it's used. So if I say this end range for this red value is only 0.1, this will change this file. So if I use this file, maybe in a different project, it would probably be imported into its own project folder. And so there'd be a duplicate of this. So that wouldn't matter. But let's say you're using this in the project multiple times, changes in here will propagate to all those other versions of it.